morning to Indian Hill Church. Today is Sunday, May 15th, and we are promoting young children. Promotion Sunday, we call it. So let us prepare our hearts to worship God. to John chapter 13. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you should also love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. confirmation process has been very impactful in my life in many ways. When I was little, I used to wonder what it was like to feel God or be with God. I had never thought that God had ever been with me, and I thought that you can only feel Him if something bad happened and you needed help overcoming it. However, I realized that God is with me more than I think He is. Pretty much ever since I can remember, I would always make up stories in my head of when I have experienced God. I would tell these stories in my head trying to convince myself of something perfecting certain details so nobody knew they were fake. When I attended my brother's confirmation dinner at 11 years old, I heard so many beautiful stories about speaking to God and experiencing His presence. Praying to God at least once a day has increased my relationship with Him and understanding of His great love and power. Prior to when school started, I prayed and prayed every day that my success in sports and in, in education would get better and to get along with friends better. For the longest time in my life, I never considered my faith. I believed in what people said was true and never really thought about what I believed was true. To be honest, I didn't know what it meant to believe. But after talking with a few people, I realized that faith was a lot less about having answers, but having questions. But honestly, back in October, when my mother reminded me that I would be going through confirmation like my brothers, let's just say I wasn't thrilled. I was unsure how I would approach the unfamiliar material, how I would make the time, if I would have any fun at all. I felt intimidated. I have felt closest to God at night, again, when I'm going to bed and in church. Before I fall asleep, I think I have time to think about God. I also feel closest to God at services. I hear the Word of God and think about them in accordance to, with my life. Also, I realize how good God is and try to be more like Him. But well, what this church has done for me is something I can't really put into words. What a blessing to be so loved. Being with people I love creates memories that I will never forget and is a pleasant reminder of the world God has created for us. I also believe that God is especially close to me when I'm going through a tough time. Support from God when I am mad or sad is important in helping me get past an obstacle or event in my life. These are also the moments when I pray the most. In my everyday life, Prayer is not a huge event in my day, but when I feel in need God, or begin, I begin to pray for His guidance. I, however, have decided to change this. 
After seeing and hearing about world events in recent years, I have begun to pray by myself every night. What is faith? What is it? It's believing in something you can't prove. You can't see it, touch it, hear it, or prove it, prove it otherwise, but you believe it anyway. You can't prove that you love someone, you just do. You can't prove something is important to you, it just is. You can't prove faith, you just believe. You just have faith. I thought about this for a long time, hearing this question in my head and wondering, what do I believe? Confirmation has helped me realize that religion should not be a taboo subject. Our group had so many honest conversations, both at the church and our, our, on our retreat. This pushes me to learn more about God and encourage my siblings to learn about God and possibly go to confirmation classes. When my confirmation class went to retreat, we learned more about God and made a greater bond with Him. I received letters from all my cousins, my mom, my dad, and my grandparents that lived all the way down in South America. There are two main roadblocks on my journey to be being confirmed. One roadblock was the fact that I come from a different church and I joined the confirmation class lead. Overall, this roadblock is very easy for me to hurdle um, since everyone here is so supportive. My time on the trip to Camp Camel God was very insightful and I loved it. I learned a lot through the experience and I'll, con I'll use it to continue to grow in my faith. More importantly, I've learned that having faith in myself can make my day smoother make me more certain of the person I want to be, give me strength for what I want to accomplish. I'm very grateful for the warm welcome I received every time I come here. I love hearing my father use his best singing voice on Christmas Eve. I enjoy seeing my cousins in the pews ahead and my lifelong friends across the aisles. Therefore, I will be proud to be a part of this special Presbyterian and Episcopalian community. And no matter how many times I show up to church or physically be in this sanctuary, I'll have faith in God most importantly in myself. When I grow up and advance in higher places in life, like college, getting a job, I know God will be there by my side to guide me through life. Before confirmation class, I believed that I could either believe in science or believe in God. I believed that God was real, but I did not believe that the entire world could be flooded with him, or that a man could walk on water. The more I learned in science class, the more certain I became. But when I went to confirmation class, I was exposed to different interpretations of the Bible. I was taught about the metaphorical meaning behind the stories and the messages they communicate. I'm a person who loves science and math, so religion was telling me something different than I heard all my life. However, through the questions during confirmation meetings, I've learned that science and religion coexist. I agree with religion symbolically for the creation in Genesis. God probably didn't create the world in six days and rested on the seventh, but it means something to me. But it symbolizes how God created this beautiful universe. I agree with everything about Jesus and most of the Old Testament. I agree with science because science is beautiful to me, just like how God created this world. Another thing I've noticed is that at the very core of Christianity and of many other religions is the idea of kindness and love. Love thy neighbor, love thy friend and thy enemy, be kind even to those who do not reciprocate it. These sorts of morals, I believe, are the core of mankind itself, not any one faith. To love and be kind. At confirmation, I didn't feel like Christianity ever really resonated with my own faith, especially when we talked about stories of the Bible and the power of God. I didn't find any sort of spiritual connection to it. However, when we were at the retreat, in the afternoon, I suddenly felt really peaceful. We were by the water, the sun was shining, it was warm, not hot, and somehow that made me feel so spiritually connected to something. I knew it wasn't God or the Holy Spirit, but just the very presence of the universe around me. It was the blueness of the sky, the water, the heat of the sun, the breath of the wind. I could never see a higher power like God, who is all-powerful and gave the world all it has. But I felt like there was a tether between me and the universe. And at times like that, where it was all quiet and sunny and peaceful, the tether was pulled taut. It's the tether of spirituality to the universe with no definite God or deity behind it that I think best defines my faith. I feel like I've gotten very close to this church and the people in it. I'm not saying I understand faith, but what I do know is it is something that keeps you going and motivated day and night. And I've been lucky enough to do my Eagle Scout project here at the church. 
This church has also helped my views better as a person. It has changed, it has changed my views and how I can improve on things, and most importantly, to forgive and forget. We all make mistakes, and what this church teaches us is that it's okay to make mistakes, and this has helped me in sports, more specifically soccer. I used to plaster my teammates if they messed up on a play, but after spending more time here at the church and going through the lessons taught at confirmation, it has shown me that just staying positive and uplifting and just having some type of faith is what can get you through. This has not only bettered me as a person, but as a player. I would not go to say that I'm a religious person, but I'm pretty faithful. There are times when I just have to believe and hope to get through the rough times solely through my faith. If it weren't for you guys, I might still be trying to convince myself that I know exactly where I am, but I definitely do not, and that's okay. For right now, I'm trying to focus on myself and being the best version of myself that I can possibly be. I cannot think I'll be that. I believe that God is with me every day when I'm happy, sad, or mad. I pray for God's guidance when I am going through a tough time and when I believe the world needs help. I've also realized that science and God don't need to conflict with each other. I'm going to grow as a Christian by learning about community problems and being aware and not indifferent to what is going on in the world. But this faith statement isn't an answer to the question, what do you believe? What is your faith? Because faith to me isn't about having the answer. It's about having questions and not being dead set on finding the answers. To me, faith is about constantly asking questions day after day, even if they're the same ones every time. But no matter how many questions you ask, you don't need answers. Because faith isn't something with an answer. You can't prove it. It's just something you believe. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and grant you peace both this day and forever. Amen.